What's going on everybody? So today we are going to talk about a comparison between Lightburn and EasyCAD 2. So let's get into it. Today's video is sponsored by OM Tech. They provided me with equipment to help further content and talk about what it is that we can do as makers. So if you're in the market for lasers, if you're in the market for a gantry machine, if you're in the market for a fiber machine, OM Tech is awesome. They've helped me to bring my business to a whole nother level and they're there for me and I'm able to use their products to get what I need done and to create the products that I need for my, my customers and for my people. So if you're in the market, let me know or drop down in the description and I've got discounts codes there for you. So jump down there, let's go. Now back to the video. First off, I want to address the elephant in the room. The first thing that people think about is price. So EasyCAD 2, you buy a Galvo machine, you buy a fiber laser, you buy a CO2 Galvo, you pretty much get EasyCAD 2 or EasyCAD 3. Um, but we're focusing on EasyCAD 2 because that's the comparison with Lightburn right now. So for free, you get a software that works. For Lightburn, it is $150 if you are brand new, dropping on the scene today and using a Galvo machine. So that is for a Galvo license. If you already use Lightburn, it is $90 to increase that subscription. So that's it. And, and honestly, that is, I said subscription, this is a one-time purchase. If you want to continue to get upgrades after a year, there is an upgrade cost. Um, but we're not getting into that because you can literally get Lightburn and use it forever on whatever version you get when you purchase it. So Lightburn costs money. EasyCAD does not. So there's that. Um, so the next thing that I want to talk about is just kind of the history of EasyCAD. So EasyCAD 2 came on the scene in the early 2000s and started creating a software that was less focused on industrial and more focused on you and I, you know, the makers, the being able to do cool things with your lasers. Before it was industrial and it was marking numbers on parts. Now it is more user friendly and more focused on you and I who are makers and trying to make cool stuff. Um, <clears throat> in that development, they've obviously evolved and created new things and then moved on to EasyCAD 3, which supports 3D, all this other stuff, and it's awesome. But EasyCAD 2 has kind of become just forgotten. It's left behind. I feel like I don't see as many bug fixes. I don't see as you know much support for it coming from the actual company. Uh, I.e. Lightburn enters and Lightburn is actively supported, actively being developed currently right now. So when it comes to a software that I want to be up to date and I want to be you know new and shiny and awesome, Lightburn's where it's at. Lightburn, obviously they are still, it's new with the Galvo scene. It just happened within the last year or two that we've really been able to use Lightburn for Galvos. Um, but you know what? They are, they're advancing. They're making adjustments and changes every day. They're trying to make the user experience better. And that's what I enjoy. I enjoy being able to use a product. One that's across all machines. I have CO2 gantry machines that I'm using Lightburn, And then I turn and I use my fibers and they're on Lightburn as well. So you get that cross platform, you know, laser experience and you get to use the same software across all of them, which is amazing. I love Lightburn. I will always use Lightburn. You cannot make me go back to EasyCAD 2. I mean, that's kind of what it comes down to to me. Um, as far as performance, that's our next topic. Let's talk about performance. Both softwares are very accurate. They are very precise, especially when you dial in the settings for your lasers and your machines. Um, Lightburn, however, I feel like is very consistent. When I go and I've used EasyCAD in, in the past and it's running a very complex machine or a complex design, it 
crashes. And that is a very common thread. If you go into any of the groups that are focused on fiber lasers or uh, Galvo machines that are using EasyCAD, it is a common headache that people are complaining about EasyCAD just crashing. It gets overwhelmed, something happens, and it just stops working. That does not work for me. Um, Lightburn, I've been able to run job after job after job and just keep swapping out parts and it just keeps going. So for me, Lightburn, I, I feel like they, they are able to perform similarly, but Lightburn is consistently there and it's working when I need it to. All right, so next thing, talking about our usability. So when we talk about usability, I'm talking about my user experience with the software. Um, when I open up EasyCAD, it looks and feels old to me. When I open up Lightburn, it just feels shiny and new. I feel warm and cozy when I'm using Lightburn. That's kind of what it comes down to to me for, for this portion. Um, <clears throat> and then also we talk about the file formats that it's compatible with. When I go and I use EasyCAD, EasyCAD accepts specific file types. You know, it'll do an SVG, it'll do kind of an AI, um, so what I've had to do in the past is I would actually use Lightburn to prep my files to go into EasyCAD. So that way they were compatible with EasyCAD. Well, I mean, that, that just seems like a crutch. And so now that I can just use Lightburn, well, that's taking steps out of my experience and being able to create products for my customers. So again, I'm leaning towards Lightburn. Like Lightburn just makes things so much easier and they have a whole variety of tools. Um, EasyCAD, they, they do have features and tools so that way you can edit designs on the fly. Um, Lightburn just makes it so easy. They've created such a vast number of tools to make easy edits, make easy modifications to your images, to create offsets, to just do all this stuff so easy. Um, a lot of the cool features that are in EasyCAD are being actively developed for Lightburn. Um, for example, one of the things that wasn't there originally was Lightburn did not have, uh, in, in EasyCAD, it's pens. You can apply different pens and different layers, so that way you are getting different effects as it works through the job. Well, Lightburn now has that. They have sublayers, so you can continue to add those sublayers to every one of your jobs, so that way you don't have to continue to add like actual layers, one on top of the other. They're all housed in one layer, and then it just works through each one of those sub layers as it works. So huge. One thing that as of today, right now, is not in Lightburn, but it is on the beta, is Rotary Table. Rotary Table is huge for being able to have quick changeover for doing jobs. That is something that is actively in EasyCAD, but not in Lightburn but it is currently on their beta and they're working to release those features. So again, it's one of those things where EasyCAD is not really being actively developed anymore. Maybe they're doing a little bit of bug fixes. I mean, I have not seen an update like that I could pull. Like Lightburn, it's always trying to update. It's always trying to give me the new stuff. And so I, I like that I'm able to get the new stuff and I'm able to use it and I'm able to put it into play into my workflow for creating things and doing stuff for my customers and just for making cool crap. So take that for what it's worth. Now let's just boil this down and do a quick summary. EasyCAD, free. Lightburn, not. But for me, it is worth the cost of Lightburn for the time savings that I have in the long run. Because I like the way it, you, it works, I like the way I'm able to use it and manipulate things, it just makes me faster at what I do. So worth the cost to me. Um, usability. Usability, like Lightburn is consistent. I, they have a really good user interface. The tools are there that I want to use. EasyCAD, it feels outdated, clunky, crashes. Not not my cup of tea. I don't want that. Um, <clears throat> as far as the performance, performance is very similar other than the crashing for EasyCAD. Um, to me, 
ultimately it just comes down to being able to use the same consistent platform across all of my machines. Lightburn, I'm using it on my, when I first started diode lasers and then over to CO2 lasers and now all the Galvo lasers that are out there using an EasyCAD 2 board. And as we continue on, Lightburn is going to continue to have additional support for other machines out there. I don't work for Lightburn. I don't know what those are. I don't know uh, the time frame. But they're continually trying to have more compatibility for all the machines that are out there. So if this content was helpful for you, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Down in the description, I will leave helpful links. I will have discount codes for OM Tech site. Um, but honestly, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.